Up to date around the clock. Here's tonight's WIS 7 at 7. Prisma Health is now restricting visitor access because of an increase in flu activity in the Midlands. Officials say that starting today, people under the age of 16 will no longer be allowed to visit. This comes as more than 46,000 people have tested positive for the flu in South Carolina. Early voting is underway for the District 19 Senate seat in Richland County. The South Carolina Senate District 19 seat previously held by the late state Senator John Scott. Early voting runs through Friday, December the 29th, with the general election following on Tuesday, January 2nd. A security camera program has provided a virtual community watch for those living in Sumter County. The program encourages community members to share security footage from their property to address crime rates. The Sheriff's Office only has access to footage submitted to them. Rising river levels have forced the Congaree Riverwalk to close due to a possible flood warning. The City of Casey closed the first three phases of the Riverwalk from the Blossom Street Bridge to the Thomas Newman boat landing earlier today. Once the water recedes, the Parks Department will work to reopen the area. Turning to the Middle East, Israel has expanded its offensive into refugee camps in central Gaza today as thousands of residents have been ordered to leave immediately. UN officials say that they're gravely concerned about the shift in strategy and that there's no safe place in Gaza right now. A reported 8,000 person caravan of South and Central American migrants are making their way towards the U.S.-Mexico border. Biden administration officials are in Mexico City today meeting with Mexico's president as they work to address the influx. And the iconic New Year's Eve ball in Times Square just got bigger and brighter. Everyone getting ready for the big night on Sunday. The ball has more than 2,600 crystal panels. New Year's Eve organizers unveiled the new ball earlier today just in time for the celebration. And that's all for tonight's 7 at 7.